Oh boy, you guys know what this is. It's time to open TTD. Um... Oh yeah, I can't actually change the volume until I get into the game. That's a bit annoying. I'll turn down the volume just a bit more. Here we go. Oh, I should also do that. Hang on. Yeah, nobody wants to hear feedback. Not tonight. Jeez. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Let me go and uh, pull up my Twitch dashboard so I can see if anybody posts any comments. And have a couple more pita chips with some delicious deliciousness. Eat that shit. Oh, I'm finishing the game because I'm not finishing GTA tonight. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. I'm being hosted by zero channels. Oh, boo! Someone should host my channel. That would be fun. finish eating these pita chips and then we'll get going. This is going to be fun tonight. I'm going to demonstrate how to play the game. And not completely cock yourself over. Because that's pretty easy to do. Okay, so this is Open TTD. It is a, uh, it's a game. It's a really awesome game. It's based off of, uh, or it's an open source reverse engineer of of Transport Tycoon Deluxe, which is what the TTD stands for. I'll talk a little bit more about that later, but. Um, the basically the whole idea is to make crazy awesome uh, transport networks where you ship stuff from one place to another place and you build stuff and you build trains and you run trains from point A to point B and you move stuff and this is really awesome. There's also uh, trucks and buses and boats and airplanes but Airplanes are kind of cheaty, so we don't usually use those, but, you know. So anyways, um, you can download it off of, I think, openttd.org or .com or something. Just do a search for it. It's easy. Um, uh, the installer, I believe, they now have it bundled with, uh, you can get the open GRF graphics or whatever it is. Because it used to be, in order to play the game, you had to have a copy of all the graphics that, that went along with the original game. But they changed that quite a while ago. Um, or they at least made, like, open source versions of the graphics. So now you can play the game with 
uh, open source graphics and sounds and music. So you can see all of this loveliness is all open source and it's awesome because of that. Um, plus, because it is open source, there's amazing community of uh, mods and such. So, uh, I opened up the new GRF settings. Uh, this thing shows you all the crazy stuff, or you can, uh, yeah, you can, you can download all these by check online content, and it gives you, like, just a gigantic list of all this crazy stuff you can do. Like, um, there's a lot of people who want to be, like, really realistic with it, so they're like, oh, yeah, like, let's get some serious, like, Dutch stuff going on, or there's a lot of, uh, Japanese stuff, uh, oh, that might be useful. Double size GUI for high resolution screens. Oh, that's amazing. I want that so bad. En enhances default industries by allowing all industries to close down. Ooh. Eh. So there's a lot of really cool stuff in here that you can look at. Um, I've downloaded a, a quick set. I believe if you're doing a multiplayer thing, uh, you can't join a game unless you have matching uh, new GRF settings. Um, so... And I think they also allow you to be like, okay, if this is just part of the stuff that's online, you can just click a button and they'll download it all and install it for you, no problem. Um, it's, this is basically just like a package manager, so you don't even have to worry about... Uh, you don't even have to worry about installing it manually or anything. Like, I mean, Swedish Rails... Graphically enhanced, fully snow-aware track set, replacing normal and electric rails, compatible with all terrains, base and road sets. So exciting. So exciting. Um, anyways, so I'm going to put together a bunch of stuff tonight. Uh, let's do the bigger train depot, which I don't actually know if that makes much of a difference. City stations. Uh, so... The people who wanted to play this had expressed interest in doing the, uh, in doing the fancy, the fancy, uh, industries, but, eh, to be honest, I don't really want to play with those tonight, because I just kind of want a really easy game. Um, there's these ECS basic vector 2, machinery vector, wood vector, there's a couple other, there's like a chemical vector and a couple other... And they basically create new chains of industries to hook stuff up to. I can talk about that a little bit later. Um, not playing in Arctic tonight, so I don't need the logging camp. Uh, industrial stations renewal. Oh, yes. Industrial stations. These are fun. They're, they're really just kind of eye candy, but they're fun. Uh, metro track set, modern tram set, new train set. Let's turn on the uh, U.S. trains tonight. And uh, trolley bus set. And the suburban and rural stations. Alright, so apply the changes. Close out of here. Uh, we're going to play on the temperate climate. Arctic one's also fun. The Toyland... I've literally never played Toyland before, but I hear there's like a bubble factory. It's it's very strange. Somebody's calling me a scrub. Scrubs? Anyways, so yeah, new game. And yeah, I set it to 1980 just so it's not quite as boring and steam only. Um, so let's generate a train. Oh, okay, so, pause the game. Some of the first things you gotta do when you play this game is, uh, oh, did I not enable it? Oh, hang on. Abandon it. Get rid of this. Uh, I wanna turn on the, oh. Oh, okay, never mind, that adds it somewhere else. Um, yeah, we'll just go with another new map. MBD. Uh, advanced options. 
best thing to do is uh, there's a couple of settings that I usually turn on and I encourage people to turn on uh, yeah so you can just type whatever you want in here to filter out the stuff show path reservations for tracks this is really cool because it will show you um, the paths that trains reserve through the track system. Um, I'll explain that in a bit once we get down to like building rails and, and signaling and stuff. And this one I, I turned on just because it's annoying to change it every time. Uh, it basically tells the trains to stop in the near end of the platform instead of the far end. But that's not really a big deal. Uh, let's see what else is there that needs that I should change um, it's probably a good idea when you're first starting out to not necessarily have all the transparency turned on because there is a lot of trees there are a lot of trees and if you obliterate trees um, uh, cities don't really like that. They like their trees quite a bit. So um, you don't exactly want to blow up all the trees. Um, so sometimes it helps to, to at least see where they are and to be kind of like cognizant of that. But most of the time I just turn on transparency for trees because I really don't give a shit about the stupid ass trees. They are dumb. And they get in my way and I can't see shit. And this isn't one of those cool games where they invented, you know, like the rotate button or you can do 3D, you know, rotation and zooming and shit. No, this is like old school to the max. You get one isometric view and that's it. So anyways, uh, let's see. So we got a farm here that it makes grain and it makes livestock. We've got a steel mill that needs iron ore. We got coal got a factory that takes livestock grain and steel and produces goods um, there's a forest over here um, oh that would be a good industry to get going um, usually I like to get going with uh, coal to power stations because they take coal um, I can see a pretty good setup here. We got we got a power plant here, coal here, coal here, and coal here. So that would be pretty decent to route all three of those into here. Um, another good starting one that makes tons of money is uh, oil. You go from oil to refineries, and refineries make goods, and then you ship the goods somewhere else if you want to, or you don't have to. It doesn't really matter. Um, but oil does run out later in the game, so it's not necessary. It's good for like getting your foot on the or feet on the ground, but not so much great for uh, if you want to go long term game. Usually, usually the end game stuff is like passengers and uh, uh, mail and valuables and shit. Or I suppose really end game is when you start doing. Uh, Oh, what is it? Uh, uh, there's a... Uh, oh, yeah, when you start like funding your own industries. That stuff is pricey, so you don't really want to start doing that in the beginning. Um, so anyways, yeah, let's, let's get started with uh, building a train system that hooks up all three of these coal plant... or coal things, and maybe we can expand to include that one and pump it into here. So that'll be fun. Uh, oh, these things, this radio tower that's right here in, in front of me, they're dumb as hell. They never go away. You can't blow them up. You can't, you know, drive through them. You can't do anything with them. They are there forever and ever and ever. Amen. Um, yeah, so let's unpause the game and so this was the cool thing that I found uh, there's this awesome uh, expansion thing that adds new 
this is the ISR, the Industrial Stations Renewal. It adds a whole bunch of new stations. I'll, I'll, I'll show them off later, but anyways. Um, oh yes, definitely turn this on. It will be very helpful. Um, so you want to drop down a station somewhere, and you can see these little blue squares. They show you where... Um, they show you the, the area that the station will cover. So since it, since it currently covers up part of this, uh, uh, this coal plant, or not coal plant, uh, electric plant, you know, uh, you can see up here it says uh, accepts coal. So you can drop off coal if you build a station here. If I move it over here uh, next to this uh, iron ore plant, or mine, whatever, you can see that it supplies iron ore. Oh boy, subsidies that I don't want anything to do with right now. Yeah, if, if you are the first to, uh, is there are certain subsidies open? They're like, if you're the first person to build uh, passenger service from Mootown to Nundingworth, you get extra money from the government. Woohoo! Um, so anyways, this can be really useful for figuring out where how you want to plan out your stuff. So for now, I'm going to do uh, a 3x6 station. So I've got it lined up for appropriately. Now i got three train lines that come out here in Chuntway. Oh, good heavens. I want to rename that Cuntway so bad. But anyways. Um, so... Now we want to lay down some. Uh, actually, I'll I'll put down an, I'll put down the uh, the uh, I'll put down the second station here fast. So one by six and meh. Yeah, this isn't exactly a flat map. Well, I think it's actually set up to be flat, but it's not all that flat. Anyways, uh, so get one hooked up. We can just start building straight. Um, definitely use this X1. Uh, that's the auto tra or auto track tool. It's uh, a lot more powerful than just being like, okay, I'll put one here and I'll put one here. Super useful. Um, it also shortcuts to A, so that, that makes it quite help handy. So I'll just go and build straight through here, and it'll show you how much it costs each time you do it. Um, if you want to find out what it's going to cost to do it, but not actually build it yet, um, you can drag out whatever you want to build, hold down the shift key, let go, and it'll give you the estimated cost down in the corner. Um, that's also really useful if you like build something crazy and then you're like, wait a second, I don't actually want this. And then you can just press down shift and lift it up and there you go. Uh, so, yeah, this is this is tricky stuff because you, you can't always build it. Do, 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 do. Oh, I missed. So the removal tool is the bulldozer, not the dynamite. The dynamite blows everything up. The bulldozer removes stuff, and you get money back for that. So uh, it also shortcuts to R, so that makes it easier. So now I've got it all lined up. And uh, next thing you want to do is build a train depot. Depot gives the train some place to stop and uh, uh, do maintenance. You can, and this is also where you build your trains from. So we'll open this up. I want a new vehicle. Let's see what we got today. Anything interesting? Um, there's definitely a lot of. Oh, damn! They've got a Conrail train on here. That's sexy. And the F40PH, yes. Um, uh, these these US trains are pretty cool. Um, they're also expensive. 
Um, so let's see. You want to pay attention to the power because if you put like a really tiny train on something that's going to carry heavy stuff, like coal, for instance, um, it's not going to do it very well. It's going to struggle and sometimes it won't even make it up hills, um, which is no good. Um, so there's also like a cost, uh, how much it costs to run it per year, how long it's supposed to last, um, what's the reliability of it. Some of these have uh, like this turbo train. Uh, it's refitable so it can actually carry stuff. Um, I believe it's probably built out already to carry passengers, but you can change it to carry mail. Um, so I'm going to get started with... Those are comparatively priced. Because um, I like Conrail too much, I'm going to buy one of these. Costs a lot of money in there. Now we've got a little thing for showing it. And I need a mineral hopper. And it will take the, the Bethgon mineral hopper. And as I just double click, you can see it adds more cars up here. Um, up here this shows you what the uh, how many blocks it takes up. So I built these out to six but I'm certainly not going to use all that. Usually I start off with just a four or something. And let's give it a name. <clears throat> um, Oh yeah, uh, so this little arrow button gives you the orders and it tells you where do you want your train to go. So usually you click on end of orders, otherwise they kind of go in backwards, which is annoying. You tell it go to, I want you to go to here. And I want you to start, stop at the near end and get a full load of all cargo. I only have one kind of cargo, so it doesn't matter. Um, and then when you're done with yeah, if you click on that, it rotates the spot where it stops. Um, and then when you're done with that, I want you to go back here and unload everything. Okay, here we go. Toot toot. Oh no, it's lost. That's, oh yeah, of course it's lost. I didn't finish the rail. Um, yeah, if it can't find a path to the location, it will uh, complain that it's lost and just kind of drive around aimlessly until you fix the problem. So, um, you see these little black boxes here, or like the black on the train? Um, or on the rail. That's the path reservation stuff. Right now, since we don't have any signals on here, it can only reserve one, one, uh, one block at a time, which is perfectly okay. I haven't built out any, any crazy need for uh, signaling yet. But I will here as soon as I get this, as soon, as soon as this thing makes it to where it's supposed to go. And so once it gets there, then you see this uh, percentage mark on here. This shows you how full the train is. And so as the thing makes stuff, it, or as the uh, as the supplier makes stuff, um, you can see it increase and get full of coal and blah, 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 blah. So yeah, coal can go to power stations, and I can change this and say, give me coal. It can... Uh, where does iron ore go? Iron ore goes to steel mill. Uh, steel mill. Steel mill takes iron ore, makes steel, and goes to a factory. Huh. Why did I think that needed coal? Um. Oh. Okay, I guess you don't need coal to make steel. In real life, you totally need coal to make steel, but 
or coke, I guess. So anyways, this is going to fill up nicely, and then it's going to drive back here and drop it all off. And that's really easy. Um, so now I'm going to start expanding this line out because I, I want to hook it up to another one. So we'll <clears throat> do a little of this action. And I also want to, I want a second line through here. Uh, damn it, I shouldn't have put that thing right there. Um, one thing you really don't want to do is build uh, 90 degree turns. There's actually 90, like 90, 90 degree turns like that. And I think the game will technically allow you to do that unless you turn on a thing that prohibits it. I usually, like, this is awful. You don't want to do that. Um, what I call a 90 degree turn is when you try to make a turn like this, when you give it only one block to make the turn. Um, trains slow down when they go into turns, so as, as you can see, this is going. Um, so since they slow down, uh, you don't want to like put turn after turn after turn, otherwise the thing just slows down really fast. I mean, slows down really slow, and then uh, it, it doesn't get where it's going, which is, that's not good. So also it's like trains also slow down as they go up hills, so you usually don't want to put like a sharp turn right after a hill because the train needs a little bit of time to catch up or get back up to speed before it can do stuff. So I guess I'll just build out around this thing because I'm too lazy to uh, actually do it proper. And we'll build this line up so that it hooks up right here. And it's usually a good idea to decide early on what side of the road do you want your trains to drive. So the way I'm building this is it's going to be you go up one side and come back down the other side. Um, <clears throat> so since I've got two different ways that this is going, I kind of want to decide right now where... Uh, I mean, this train will be fine. It'll figure its way out. But um, I want to say, okay, you can only go this direction on the right side or, you know, this side of the line. Um, and you can only go this direction on this side of it. So you can do that pretty easy with the signaling tools. So now, signals are really cool. Um, they're also the way that you get yourself cocked up in this game. Um, so the default method is with block signals. They're they're okay, but they're really easy to get messed up. Um, block signals are basically set up so that uh, you drop down a, a you drop down these uh, signals and each time you put down a signal, ah, oh crap, it broke down. Um, each time you put down a signal, it defines a block. So, and every time at the end of the year, you get to see the, uh, uh, you get to see how much money you made. And I lost money. Woohoo! It's infrastructure. It's expensive. Uh, also, I'm totally gonna change uh, this because I am male. And the faces are pretty awful, but you know, that's just part of the character of it. Um, and I want yellow buses. Yep. Okay. Um, so this defines a block, and only one train can be inside of a block at a time. Uh, blocks are, are they're simple, uh, and I think there's... Basically, like you can set them up as one-way blocks by re-clicking on these. I kind of forget how blocks, how block signals work because I don't use them anymore. Um, instead, I use path-based signaling. So that's th these ones and this one. Um, all these are for blocks, and they're 
crazy. Also, yeah, there's semaphore style ones, but I don't. I mean, you can do semaphore style uh, uh, path based signaling, but this is the modern day, so we might as well have electric ones. Anyways, um, path based signaling uh, is basically set up that uh, you signal at such. You just signal the whole thing, and as the train figures out, like it'll come up to one of these and it'll say, okay, I, I need to reserve a path from here to here, um, because that's the end of, that's where the next signal is and I'm going over here, something like that. So it will go ahead and it'll highlight these tracks and you'll get to see that it reserved a path. This will this will become pretty cool once I once I set this up. Oh, yeah. So since I, as soon as I put that one signal down, it's like okay, I, I need to reserve a path that goes this way, and it went and you see the darkening on it. It went and uh, it went and reserved a path all the way back to there. We don't really want it to do that because uh, if it reserves that path, then if there were another train on here, another train could not be on this train track until uh, this path has been unreserved. This probably isn't making that much sense, but whatever. Um, so these are one-way uh, path-based signals. They only let you go one direction down a path. So we'll wait for him to pull into that thing, and then we'll signal this. So I want to put down a signal here like that. And so this is set, it's, it's kind of hard to see, but um, this is the direction that you'd enter from, and you can't go this direction on it. So I'll go ahead and drop down signals all through here. Uh, you can, if you hold down control and do it like this, uh, when you, once this train is out of my path, um, <clears throat> Ooh, new aircraft available. Sometimes you'll get these little offers. They'll say like, hey, do you want to use our new train before we release it to the public? And then you can be like, yes. And then you get exclusive rights to some fancy ass train or something. So anyway, um, yeah, I want to do, wait, oh, maybe you don't hit control. What the hell? How do I do this again? Maybe it's shift. Nope, nope, that's shift. Uh, maybe I screwed it up already. Oh well, I'll do it the old-fashioned way and just click. So, this the way that I'm setting this up, it, it's set up such that uh, you can only travel, what is it, uh, east? You can only travel east on the south, south branch of this. And then we'll set it up to go the other direction. So you just click and change that. Oh, okay, there we go. So yeah, you can do control and it will just build all along the line. So usually for these, I'll set it up such that, um, oh, S is also the signaling tool. Um, I'll set it up such that I have a, a stop right here if they travel the opposite direction, they have to reserve the whole way. Otherwise, they can't. Or th basically, the side that has the lights on it is the side that it'll stop at. Um, otherwise, they'll have to reserve the rest or the whole path the whole way there. This might become a little bit more clear once we get another trains going or not I could just be awful at explaining this uh, 
So since this is my second uh, station, I want this one to look cool. Or third station, I guess it is. Um, also, I'm going to turn on the tree transparency because trees are getting on my, on my nerves already. So, we've got a raw materials one. There's cattle docks, cattle sheds, fruit, coal. Here we go. Mineral platforms. So this will look cool. I'm going to line it up going this way. We'll do four, and then we'll put down one of these. And basically, as you join... Um, yeah, basically as you join stations together, they all provide the same thing. So if I were to go and just keep building out this direction, um, it would all be part of this Gondworth Mines, and it would all have access to uh, to the coal mine here. This is, this is kind of cool if you want to build something that just kind of creeps along and and then you've got something all the way over here um it's a lot cheaper than trying to build something here sometimes i mean build a whole thing here you just build like one and then just build the whole thing out but you can't build uh stations i believe you can't build them on hills like if i try it oh yeah you can you can never mind i was wrong i think it's you can't go the opposite direction uh that's gone. Um, I think if I rotate this, like if I do it this way, yeah, you can't. Oh no, no my bad. Yeah, you can't do it because you need flat land to do it. That you can build onto the side of a, a hill, but you can't build up and down a hill. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put on some cool looking conveyor belty shit and. Uh, put a little truck there and a couple piles of this stuff which as it um, so stations as they once you start servicing them they'll start producing stuff and just dumping the excess at the station so here you can see we've got 115 tons of coal waiting to be shipped um, that's a lot <laughs> Um, so these are actually set up so that as you uh, as you have extra stuff waiting, it will um, it will what? Can't build station here. Why the fuck not? Oh whatever. Um, Um, I don't know. Basically, these just end up being eye candy, but they look really cool. I mean, obviously, that's the definition of eye candy, right? And I want a little shed here. Shipping office, I guess it's, it is. But anyways, now we've got this, and... This is the this is the fun slash tricky part. Uh, trying to rig up, trying to rig up lines together. So I think I'm just gonna pull it off of here. And the tricky part comes in that you usually want to build it such that you can go any direction on a line. Um, if I want to go, yeah, we can do that. That'll work. That'll work nice. Um, <clears throat> you want to build it such that um, if I want to go from this station to this station, I need to build some way to do it. Um, and that might be complicated. 
it, it usually is most times, which is the annoying slash fun parts of the game. See, I can, I, like, I can do it. I'm just not thrilled about doing it that way. So, yeah, I'll, I'll get rid of that for now. Um, so the way this would this would work is I'd come along here, all the way down here, and then go up through here, and then up into this. I know it's kind of annoying. Um, I don't want to do that so much as I'd like to do that, but signals got in the way. So I'll have it built like that, so as I come down this line, I can go up here and get to this one. Is there anything else I want to hook up through here? No, not really. <clears throat> um, this goes, yeah, that, that, that works out fine. Um, I can go that way to go that way, and I can go that way to go that way, and that way to go that way. Yeah, this will work out fine. So now I want to signal it. Um, do it this way. Ideally, there's only going to be one train that goes this way at a time, so. Uh, we shouldn't have too many issues by building it like this. Um, I do want to make sure to put in a signal here and a signal here so that we don't try to get onto this chunk of stuff until it's clear. Same for this, uh, same for this. And I also want to build a, another depot out here. Throw down, slap down some signals. Build another train. Actually, I want to use a clone train. Clone this one. Ooh. And see, it's even smart enough, it'll be like, oh, did you end it with a with a one? We'll change it to a two. So cool. Um, only this one, uh, when you clone trains, it automatically clones their orders as well, and I don't want that. So I'll clear this out. Tell it I want to go here, get a full load. Then I want to go all the way down here and empty out. Toot toot to you too. And I made 76 grand last year. That's pretty great. Ugh. Tired tonight. Big long day at work. The fun part, I mean, again, the fun part is like figuring out how you can hook up more stuff together. So it's to be able to say like, okay, I've got a coal mine down here. Maybe I could tie it into this this whole system, and then I don't then I don't have to you know spend billions to make a separate line that goes out to here. This one's like way off on an angle, so if I wanted to bring this in here, I'd probably want to build a line that goes that way. But that's, I mean, that's just kind of how it goes sometimes. Um, <clears throat> I 
really wish Twitch had some kind of cool thing so that you could uh, uh, see who's watching. That would be really fun. I, I can I can only tell that three people are watching. I can't tell who's watching. Uh, at least not from the dashboard. There might be a way to do it through the other tools and whatnot. So yeah, this thing will just pick up coal, and then I'll pick up coal, and we'll be good. Um, there technically is uh, music that goes along with this game, but I usually don't play the music because it's kind of old school and annoying. I don't know, I'll, I'll put some of it on real fast. I need something other than these beeping noises. Uh, yeah. Oh. I can't do that now. Well, whatever. I don't really want to change, start putting on actual music because I'm afraid Twitch might not like that, so. I don't know. But yeah. 100% turns around. Yeah, it is kind of funny how it, how it uh, how the trains just like up and turn around. There's actually a button you can press to turn them around, um, which is you know like impossible in real life. But you know, it, it this is a game. It's fun. So yeah, let's hook up another another one of these out here. in the bank why the fuck not air taxi A31 I wonder if that's like an air bus just which it just with a different name. Nope. Okay. So let's... I might not be able to make this this way. Nope. Can't do that. So let's tie it in off of this line then. Hmm. This is when it gets tricky and messy. And I always feel silly when I do it this way. And then part of me is like, I don't really need this this chunk here. And then I take it out, and then I'm like, wait a second, yes I do. And the train goes, gets lost, and ends up like out in fucking no man's land over there. I I don't know how it does it, but whatever. So yeah, I guess there's only really gonna be no. I, I'm trying to decide. There's uh, there's an iron ore mine here that would be kind of nice to tie this into the steel mill here because then I can be like, uh, then I can just use this whole line to do that for me, which, you know, it's convenient. Also, this would be a great run. This uh, lumber mill to these forests, tie these two in and bring it all the way down there. Yeah, that'd be perfect. We'll do that next. <clears throat> um, once I figure out how to do this.
Oh, and, and basically if I wanted to tie this in, I would definitely want to build a, a, a two-way rail line. Oh, so this is just one way of doing it, like this linear style. I also really like it when I can do these like circular deals, where I'll be like, okay, there's a thing here, and there's a thing here, and there's a thing here. And I'll just be like, okay, well, we'll make it a big giant loop and make you have to go all the way around in order to finish it. So that way it's just like one direction thing. So if I wanted to get from here to here, I can do that. If I want to get from here to here, can't do that yet. So I'll probably want to build that, and then I can go that way. Um, if I want to get from here, that's straight through. Uh, and if I want to get this way, that's straight too. Okay, so we'll we'll share this part right here. That'll be okay. and then just build this out as two. Should try and do something with a bridge just so I can be like yo this is how you do bridges and then you know how to do bridges but usually you want to avoid bridges at all costs uh, because they are expensive and they have speed limits so depending on how fancy your your uh, bridge is you can only go so fast over it also, uh, one of the one of the secret tricks here is that if you ah, screw it, I'll build a bridge just to show you. Um, yeah, so the secret trick is don't build it from here to here. Build it from here to here. So like, build it on the shores, not on the uh, on the up or on the land bit. Because if you build it on here, it has to go up before it can go across. If you build it here, it just builds it flat across. If you build it up, it'll have to slow down in order to go across the bridge. If you build it this way, it just goes whatever speed it was going before. So you can see here we've got like different kinds of bridges, and they cost different amounts, and they have different speeds. So like if I wanted to build a really shitty bridge, I could build this one that you can only go a maximum of 32 kilometers per hour. Also, I can change that. Uh, I swear I can change that. I swear there is a way to change that. I, I thought you could set it to miles per hour, but whatever. Maybe you can't. Anyways, we'll build a concrete suspension bridge since that goes 80. And there you go, you have a bridge, and it doesn't go up. What's even better than bridges are tunnels. Tunnels are the bomb. Um, they require a little bit of work, but like I could build one here, and it would be length five. So drop that down, get a tunnel. The tunnel is fantastic. There's no speed limits, no speed limits whatsoever. So you just build it, and away it goes. Um, Tunnels are vastly superior to building bridges to go over top of rails. Um, so if you had something, I know I'm, I'm wasting a bunch of money building out here, but say you had something going like this, and then you had something going like this, and you're like, I really do not want that to cross there. It is, it's possible to go and say, okay, I'm going to build over the top of it. And then you, build, you waste a buttload of money building it, and you have to slow down in order to do it. Or, what's even better, is you build a tunnel through it. So instead, you bust out your terraforming tools, landscaping as they call it, whatever, um, and you lower it. So you go like that. Actually, that might not work. 
Um, hang on. It costs a buttload of money to terraform stuff, so you don't want to do it very often. Um, and we want it to come out over here. So now we've got like this, build a tunnel, and there you go. Now you don't, now the only time you have to slow down is when you go up over here. The tunnel has, uh, has no speed limits. Uh, and you actually get a speed boost as you go downhill. So this is a great pattern to use. This is a terrible pattern to use. <laughs> Um, yeah, so anyways, let me signal this up so we don't have any crashes when it goes through. Uh, uh, yes, it will cost me money to put these down. Signals are really cheap, so there's no real, I mean, yeah, I think semaphores are cheaper, but there's no real reason to use them. You might as well just spend the money on the nice electric ones. Stop it like right here um, and put one of these down. Usually you want to use these kind of signals when you when you have any kind of like two-way traffic. Even if you, uh, I mean you might not need to, but you, you really should do, do that so you can have the two-way traffic going through. Uh, And we'll put down a thing right there. And we'll build a new train. Ooh, that, that 40 pH goes way faster. Totally getting an F40 pH this time. Just to say I did. Ooh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, did they really do that? I think they did. I think those are painted up in the sounder colors. Oh my gosh, I am so excited now. Because it's like... Oh man, the sounder... Uh, the uh, Seattle uh, uh, commuter heavy rail. It's pretty cool. Um, I should bust that picture of it right now to be like, yes, that is totally the sounder. But, oh well. Uh, so I need some coal cars, coal cars. Yes, I know. Uh, iron ore? No. Uh, covered hopper. Cover carries grain. Boxcar carries some shit. Uh, mineral hopper. We'll get some more of these Beth gone ones. <clears throat> And we'll name this uh, Chuntway Chuntway Coal 3. Yeah. Uh, and tell it I want it to go here. Get a full load. And then go all the way over here and unload. Unload everything. And it breaks down going into the station for repairs. Wonderful. Oh man, look at that F40 pH just flying along. Oh, this is the chunt way. Chuntway needs some, uh, we'll give it some buses. <clears throat> uh, I kind of want to go with the, so I put in a mod that lets me have, uh, instead of streetcars, I have electric trolley buses, which are really cool, and they have the antennas that go over the top. Um, 
Oh, cool. Someone is from Ohio. Don't know who, but that's cool. Um, anyways, so I want to drop down a few stations. We'll put, you can only do like on the road stations. So we'll have this nice little stadium station. Uh, this little downtown station, this other station. And yeah, we'll put one there. Yeah, that's good. Um, and then I need a place to run all of my stuff from. And then uh, and let's build out the the overhead lines. Um, you want to make sure that you have like this end on it. Uh, or that was a bad example. Um, also, you totally can't see it on here. But uh, you want to make sure you want go one further than whatever the uh, station is, because if you don't, uh, the electric trolley car doesn't have any way to turn around. And usually, you don't want to do that on a stop. Oh, I see why I screwed that up last time. Uh, yeah, you want to click and drag in order to... Uh, oh, yeah, that's totally why I screwed that up. Um, so last time I, I played... Uh, I played some single player, and I completely screwed up... Uh... I had stuff like trying to make turns where it shouldn't have been making turns, and it drove me insane. Now I see the reason why I screwed up is because I didn't uh, drag it through the intersection. I should have. I just dropped it on top of the intersection. I figured it'd be smart. It's not that smart apparently. Yeah, like that. Now it'll work. Okay. So let's get some electric trolley buses going. We'll get this articulated mofo going. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Ha <laughs> uh, Sorry about that. Um. So this, uh, what the crap? Um, yeah, uh, I thought I had changed that. I thought I had it set that I was playing Open TTD. Um, let me pause this and try and figure out what the heck I did wrong with my Twitch. Sorry if you came here looking to see GTA 4 and then get completely let down because it's not GTA 4. I swear I clicked that button that told it to update it. Oh, what the deuce is this? Twitch, why you do this to me? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Thank you, bad boy PMC. That is awesome. Uh, update. Changes saved. Okay. I think... I think I'm good now. Yes, yes, 
It is currently set up correctly. For whatever reason, the Twitch is is dumb because it uh, it doesn't let me put in a game that it doesn't think is a game. So I tried to put an open CTD and it's like, we don't recognize that. I swear I had it in here last week. Oh well, back to the game. Uh, chunk way one. So I've heard that streetcars are kind of broken in the sense that they uh, just make oodles of money. So usually I try and plan these out so it's like, okay, go here and then uh, here and then turn around and hit up here again, which might be kind of annoying. that hooks up to this either. Come on, I'm completely screwing this up. There we go. Look at the little articulate bus with its little antenna. It's so cute. Um, yeah, usually by default, um, actually always by default, like stations don't have anything waiting for you until you have something stop off at the first stop. Oh, and this is this is not helping me out either. I need to make my buildings. Oh no, that's industries. Whoops. I'll make these see through. Yep, I totally screwed this up again. Yep, that works. Okay, that ought to be good. Well, thank you. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm still kind of new to Twitch. I've only been doing it. This is like my third time streaming. Ah, that's why it's all screwed up again. Man, I'm bad at setting up these uh, trolley car lines. Um, ignore the fact that uh, that when you turn a, a trolley bus, even though it's supposed to be connected, it kind of like detaches itself. Yeah, okay, so now we got this going. It's gonna go up here and make stops all along the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what happens when I screw this up is I get these implicit stops along the way and it's like, yeah, you actually meant to drive through here and stop here. So usually I just go back through and delete them and see if I can't fix it. Uh, so I want it to stop at Chuntway Central before it stops at Chuntway South. And I want it to stop at Chunt way central before it goes back and restarts its circuit at Trumpway. Uh, how often do I stream? Uh, I stream maybe once a week, once every other week. I'm, I'm mostly doing this stream because some of my friends um, we're, we're trying to do a weekly game night thing and uh, I, I suggested, hey, why don't we do multiplayer open TTD? And they're like, open TTD? What's that? It looks really fun. And I was like, yeah, you can totally dick yourself over if you don't know what you're doing. So uh, I figured I, I would do a, a stream to demonstrate how to play. So that's why I'm calling it a webinar today instead of uh, just Ben Plays stuff. And also why I'm being so ridiculous with all the stuff I'm talking about. I'm like, yes, I'm explaining literally everything, but... You know, that I guess that's just what I do. So let's get another line going in here, because these things do kind of make us some money. And this one I'll go Chuntway, Chuntway Central, and Chuntway West. 
and then back to Chuntway West and Chuntway Central. Close, close. And and the cool part is once you start getting passenger service on these, um, awesome. Take care for a dog. Uh, have a good evening. Um, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Uh, yeah. So so once you start providing like services like this, um, uh, the yeah yeah. So once you start providing like services like that, uh, towns that don't need anything else, they'll start to grow. So, um, and by grow, I mean like they'll start building out and building new uh, buildings and things, and it gets gets bigger. Uh, yeah, over there in Ohio, yeah, it's it's ten fifty six. Out here, it's still it's almost eight o'clock. Out on the best coast. <laughs> um. Yeah, so as you start like growing this, the cities, they get to be, uh, yeah, you get more passengers, you get more stuff to deliver back and forth. Um, you also gotta be careful when you do stuff around a city that you want to invest in. Uh, cities really, really, really hate it when you tear down their trees. So if you tear down their trees and they, uh, so you can click on a city and then you can click on local authority and it'll show you your rating with them. I think below poor, there's uh, like abysmal or very poor or something. And if you get down that far, uh, they will uh, ban you from building anymore. Um, or at least until you get your rating back up. So you can, you can start off with like advertising campaigns and stuff. Um, um, where was I? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, you can, as you, um, you know, provide better services, if you have, like, less people waiting and, uh, less goods waiting and bringing more money in and stuff for them, they'll, they'll start to like you better. Cool. I made almost 200 grand last month, or last year. But uh, th that is kind of one of the fun things about this game is that eventually you just get going so good that you're just making bought tons of money everywhere. Okay. So now that I got this done, I'm thinking. Uh, this is the 1980s. 1984 actually so we do have access to electrified rail uh, that stuff is it's kind of expensive but they're hella fast um, do I ever play Minecraft that's a bad question I play a lot of Minecraft or at least I do when it's uh, Minecraft binge season um, I usually run a server for some of my friends and uh, we do some modded stuff uh, we'll probably do another one of those in about a, oh, maybe a month or so. I don't know. Um, oh my gosh, I like Minecraft so much. If if I get, uh, if I start doing another server this year, I'll definitely stream some of that. That'll be fun. Um, so I could go and electrify these rails because uh, electrified rails go faster and I can still use the diesel uh, I can still use the diesel stuff on here, but uh, you know, diesel's not always the. It's not the fastest. It's not the greatest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pollution, all that. Oh no, I don't have a server up now. Um, um, I'll probably start one in like a month or something, maybe. Um, 
And if I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll probably post some information somewhere. I don't know yet. We haven't, I, we haven't really set up any kind of details for that. Uh, let's see, what else do I want to do? I'd like to build... Yeah, I want to build a, a line that hooks up these two forests up to, up to this uh, sawmill. So let's do another one of these fun things. Classification. So this, this is kind of one of the things that a lot of people don't pay much attention to in the game. It's the, the concept of like transfer stations. Um, you build like a station and just have trains go one place to bring stuff from like here to a transfer station and then have another train come up and, and pick it up and then drop it over somewhere else. Um, I think there's other reasons to build them, but I usually don't do that just because at least I never get that far into the game that I need like transfer stations. Process material, raw materials, here we go. We want lumber mill. Well, something that looks lumbery. So that supplies wood. Oh yes, I'm gonna build this one electrified just for fun. So you can see it's got the Cantonary line on top of it. That's, that's really pretty. Yes, I, I've read an article. Uh, I read the Wikipedia article about like electrified rails a, a while ago. It's so much fun to learn about like the difference between the messenger line and the Cantonary line and the uh, um, there's a couple other different lines that they use in it. I forget all of them. What's that? Yeah, we should try to play play together. That'd be fun. Um, we had a, a, a random bunch of people that I didn't really know playing last year, and it was it was a lot of fun. Oh, so here here's another thing. Um, so I want to use this tunnel just for funsies. Um, I didn't build the tunnel electrified, so that's a problem. Uh, there is this uh, conversion tool. If you go and select down a an area, it'll automatically go and convert the rail to whatever type you selected. So since it's uh, since it was just diesel, it didn't have the cantonaries. Um, <clears throat> I just converted it to electrified. So perfect. <laughs> well, at least I know who that is. <laughs> How's it going, Mr. Naked Goonie? back myself into a corner here. Uh, I'd either have to make a 90 degree turn and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to bust out the landscaping tools. <clears throat> Spend some of my hard earned cash on this. Yeah, no, I know him. He's he's cool. He's just crazy sometimes. It's <laughs> Actually, I think you might, which is kind of odd and scary. Let's see. 
This might not turn out the way I wanted it to. Because if I'm trying to go from this station to this station, which I really shouldn't do. Oh, no, I can do it that way. Yeah, it would just be a really shitty way to do it. No, he's cool. He's just being... He's just being himself. <laughs> uh... Yeah, so let's drop down a couple of these. And another one of these. And a few of these. And one of these. And we'll build this out. Oh. Move. Come on, guys, play nice. Try and do a webinar here. Oh, this is nasty. That is a really nasty way to do this. But it's gonna work. <laughs> I think I think these these little gray things are supposed to be like rock fields and I think rock fields technically cost a little bit more to go over. But I don't know about that really. I, eventually, you ju you just kind of get to the point, and you're like, whatever. I want to build it where I want. Oh, for fuck's sake, Ben! This thing, this line should be over here. I completely fucked it up. Way to go, me. Screwed that up too. Yeah, that was seriously way off. Not concentrating, I'm just doing it. Okay, so let's signal this up. Uh, put a thing here and a thing here and then we'll do one way down the right side and the other way down the left side do, 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 do. and that puts that all the way up there <clears throat> I'll get it going the other way uh, build that like that so it has to find paths to go that way Hmm. Yeah, there's no real way to turn around on this. I, you can build those, and I don't really build them most of the time. Some some people uh, like to put little cross things in here, so they'll be like, okay, if you want to go from this side to this side, you can do that. Um, I want to say that there's sometimes there's a reason for that. Uh, I remember we were playing one game once where we had a... No, I guess that was... Yeah, I guess we had done like quad lines. We had like two northbound, two southbound lines, and we were doing it so that there were intersections in and out of it every so often, so that, that way... Because we were trying to run electric and diesel on the same line, so the electric would go a lot faster and it would go 
up to a signal and find out that it was blocked and then it would cut around and go faster. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't remember if, I don't think there's a way to make that happen on, uh, eh, you might be able to do that if you use the, the double-sided block-based signaling stuff, which I don't like block-based signaling. It, it screws you up a lot, so I just won't do it. But let's put down a thing here and a thing here. Let's get two new vehicles going. E60C, or the M2 Cosmopolitan, or the AE M7. Uh, wow, that's fast. That's 200 kilometers an hour. That one is slow, but it can, oh my gosh, it is a tank. That thing's even more tank, oh my gosh. That thing is, that thing is pathetic. Yeah, that's, that's, it's suitable for local passenger service, that's about it. Uh, yeah, screw it. We'll spend a what ton of money on these. This might actually be another. Uh, the way that the paint scheme's done on this, that might be another uh, Amtrak train. I, I don't really know the models that they used for the for their electric lines. I do know that they had an electric line out in Pennsylvania, but I don't know where else they did that style. They had the uh, Acela or Acelra or whatever the hell it was called. Uh, the Their quote-unquote high speed that isn't really all that high speed. And it it's like the only... It's like one of two countries in the world that have high speed grade level crossings where people get killed pretty easily and it's happened and it's not pretty Fort Warham Wood 1 oh no, close that um, okay and so we want to throw some log cars on here. Might be another way to do this. That can carry steel and goods. Or, oh, okay. I'll, I'll do it with this gondola just to demonstrate something, another aspect of the game that's important to know. Um, these are refitable. It costs money to refit things. So I'm gonna build like, uh, this engine cannot haul freight cars. What the fuck? Then how come I can put the one on there? So I'll sell this. Let's throw a log car on. Oh no. Can I put one at the front? No, this is bullshit. I could do it that way. Yeah, that would be great. That's completely fucking useless. Okay, let's sell let's sell the whole damn thing. Uh, and start over with something else that's not a pile of shit. Damn it, I really wanted to... It says it's good for express freight service. What the hell? This thing's slow as balls, but whatever. Uh, we'll throw on a couple of gondolas and then a few log cars we'll get the length up to four and then so yeah rename this or warham wood one uh and we'll <laughs> yeah i wonder about that too um I wonder a lot uh, if, well, I mean, I talk to myself all the time anyways, and I wonder if my neighbors just think I'm fucking insane, 
or uh, or if I'm like on the phone or something. That would make sense. I don't know. Or I could be working from home and giving a demonstration of something. That would that would also make sense. Anyways, so you click this little button to refit your train. So any any uh, cars that are refitable, uh, it'll show up as the list of these. You click OK. I want to refit it to carry wood, and then you see it costs almost a thousand dollars to refit it. So you kind of want to be careful when you pick stuff that needs to be refitted. I have to refit all of these apparently, but that's cool. It totally put it. Uh... Yeah, that's also true. Um, I mean, I can't really hear them, so uh... I should probably also start doing something where it's you know, like when you do demonstrations, somebody asks you a question, you always have to restate the question with uh... the question was asked. <laughs> And then you restate the question. That way, that way, if anybody's watching this uh, as I like afterwards, nope, I have not ever heard of "Call Me Kevin." I should look it up though. It sounds interesting. Uh, yeah, let's go here. Full load, any cargo, go to the end. But yeah, I should I should try to state like what questions are in the in the uh, in the stream because then I'll have some record of it if anybody wants to watch these after I've uploaded or after I've streamed. Oh look at it, it's so majestic and electric. <laughs> also, I made negative seven thousand dollars last year. And let's clone this train. Oh no, tell it to go somewhere else. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I definitely have uh, Twitch set up now so that it will, um, it auto archives things, and I just have to tell it to make it public. Uh, at least I hope I did. Otherwise, I'm gonna be a little bit pissed because I do not have OBS set up to uh, like save my streams. Mainly because there's some streams I do and I'm just kind of like, eh, I don't want anybody to know I did this because it was shit and I'd rather not do shit stuff. Uh-oh. I fucked it up. Fucked it up. Yeah, because there's no way to get from uh, this to this. So I need to put down another line that goes that way. And I need to remove some signals in order to do it. Oh, no. Just fuck, fucking stop, 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 stop. And turn around on a dime. Signal, remove, auto, signal, go that way. Not exactly sure what on point means for Minecraft, but eh, I'll have to look him up too. I'm always down to see more videos of stuff. Woohoo! Citizen celebrate first train arrives in Chuntway Woods. And yes, I did make that joke already. In before. But yeah, so one of the things you can usually want to do as you like start building stuff, uh, you want to start paying attention to, okay, I only transport 61% here. So that means 
I should probably add a couple more cars on here so I can maximize my uh, carrying potential. So in order to do that, I'm going to wait for this thing to finish. And... Uh, no, I, I, I figured that. I was just... I was kidding. Never mind. Um, yeah, 80%. I could just tell it to go back to the depot right now. Oh my gosh, it's already 821. I've been on here for, what? An hour and a half. Oh boy. Well, let's, let's finish up this little bit of stuff and, uh, I'll get, I'll head out because I'm getting hungry. I need dinner. I want to do something else besides play video games tonight. So anyways, uh, oh, now we're at 94%. Actually, this one, no, not yet. Damn it. So I could also take a look at here. Nope, we haven't gotten anything. That's lame. Oh, yeah, it broke down again. Okay, so I want to send this to the depot. Why did you go to that one? This one is much closer. I'll get ready for this. Open it up. Get another couple of cars going. I'll put one more on there. Get it up to six. Um, Now we might end up running into problems where it might be too heavy to pull it. If we do that, then we have to, uh, <clears throat> I'll have to buy a new locomotive for it. I think there's ways you can do like double or double locomotives in the front, but uh, usually it's just better to get one train that'll do the whole thing or one locomotive unit. Oh, sweet. Dropping off wood now. And listen to him making that lumber. Goods, I suppose. Uh, okay, so there's one other really useful tool in this game, and you can manage the your trains this way. So... Next to here, there'll be little icons to show uh, how much, whether they're profit earners or profit neutral, or there's a red minus one for uh, they lose money. Yeah, these ones are losing me money. Uh, and you can see how much money they lost in the previous year, or how much they made this year. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna see if I could fuck with that a bit. Because I put on a I put on a uh, a mod that will increase the size of the UI because the UI is teeny weeny uh, but it, I don't know how to turn it on I don't know if it's in this. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, I probably fucked that up. Hang on, let me save the game and I'll try this again. Abandon the game.
RPG effects plus big UI. Oh. I guess I didn't install it. Oh, of course. And you can't go and add new GRF once you start a game. Of course. Oh. Ah. Uh, oh, yeah. So... The other cool thing about managing all of these is you can look at all of your trains really easy. You can do groupings and stuff. It's, it's fun. Um, but you can also go and manage list, and this is great. You tell it, replace vehicles. You can say, I've got two of these, and you know they're starting to break down a lot. They're getting kind of old. I want to, actually, they're only five years old, so I definitely don't need to replace them. But it's better when uh, you've got like slow trains or something. Uh, uh, you get these slow trains and you're like I need to upgrade these so you can go and say okay I want to replace it the C70 or C37-7 whatever I want to replace it all with F40 PHs because F40 PHs are the best um, and you want to say start replacing vehicles replace all vehicles now and so what happens is next time they go to the uh, depot for maintenance, they will get uh, I, I keep getting emails and I get the feeling these some of these are subscribers. That'd be kind of cool. Oh cool. Thank you, Nakaguni, and thank you again, Bad Boy PMC, for following me, as well as thank you, Fur Dog, who is no longer watching. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, it'll basically just go and replace these. I think it's set up so that uh, it actually will only replace if you have money to do so. If you don't, it just doesn't. But it's it's really useful for automatically bumping up your service to something else. Uh, and it's also great once you start, because like you can also switch out diesel for electric and stuff. It's really great once you start uh, upgrading your lines to just do a whole batch of Replace everything, please. Uh, I'm going to send this to the depot, and I'm going to send this one to the depot, too. Sometimes they decide that the closest one is if they turn around, they can get to it, and they just do it. Also, sometimes you can get into very bad situations with your signaling, and the train just will refuse to move because you screwed it up. And if it does that, there is a button here that says ignore signals. And it basically just tells it ignore whatever you, you think you can do and just do it. And that's when you can have crashes. So don't click that. That's a bad idea. I'm going to add some more cars to this. Yep, and you just saw it going by itself, another thing. Oh no, I cloned it. Oh, I clicked the clone button, that was dumb. I sold it now, it's good. We're all good. Whoops, and that's too many. There you go. Oh, 
It seems to be doing fine with uh, six cars on it. I might not have needed to upgrade it. So this would be another fun one to tie in, and I might do that later, but not tonight. Because it would be fun to do because you gotta build a bridge across here. So that would be kind of cool. Also, these maps are huge, um, and this is this is this. Uh, I could make them much larger than this. I think you can go at least 1024 by 1024. You might be able to go even bigger than that. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. There's also these uh, oil fields. Uh, you can do. Uh, Uh, you can do, yeah. So like these thing, these oil derricks out in the middle of the ocean, you can only do uh, boats and aircraft too. Um, I don't usually fuck around with uh, boats or aircraft, again, because aircraft is a little bit cheaty and boats just they, they don't make money. They don't make any money, but you can do oil through there. Uh, plus, they also accept passenger passengers and mail because, well, you know, I mean. Think about it. Gotta get somebody out there to do shit. And I bet they get lonely out there too. They want something to read. Um, there's other industries in the Arctic and the uh, in the Arctic regions and the deserts. In the deserts, uh, cities need water before they can expand. Uh, um, and so there will be like water towers and stuff that you have to ship water from in uh, tanker cars. That's kind of cool. Uh, there's also, yeah, I was talking about it before, there's these expansion vectors. So uh, they add a whole brand new series of uh, uh, they add a whole brand new series of like yeah, you take sand from a sand pit and ship it to a glassworks along with coal, and you ship the glass to a manufacturing plant. And the manufacturing plant goes and makes goods, and you ship the goods to some other place. Like there's a there's there there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do. Um, see, this is one of those things I was talking about. It's like, oh yeah, Foster Bus. Um, it's gonna be coming out soon, and you want to use it for cheaper than usual. Eh, not today. Because I am very happy with my awesome sauce uh, electric trolley buses. Uh, really, that's about all I want to do for tonight. Because I'm hungry. I want dinner. Um, I'm going to save this game again. And there we go. So... Yeah, I'm going to head out then. Um, stop fighting, you guys. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, thank you all who who watched this, this session. It's been a lot of fun, and I hope to do another one of these again sometime in the future. Maybe not quite as web, webinar-y as this, but I'll, I'll also make this one available, uh, uh, available on, on Twitch so you can watch it whenever you want to um but yeah so also i i definitely want to get back to playing uh, gta 4 again uh so i'll be doing some of that later uh uh <laughs> uh yeah I'll, I'll actually be doing uh gta 4 uh maybe maybe i'll do it uh Maybe I'll put it up as I'm playing Transport Tycoon and I'm actually playing GTA 4 for like an hour and then I'll, I'll f fix the damn uh, stream so that people aren't getting all confused and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, so thank you all for watching again and uh, thank you all for whoever subscribed and I'll see you guys later skis. Something like that. Yeah, see ya.